asking me to do a makeup collection video. I honestly like don't know why you guys want to see this so much. Hey guys, so I know I'm in a completely different area, but I forgot to tell you guys that I'm having a meet and greet. It's going to be uh, absolutely free. I will put some info right here. It's going to be in the Woodlands Waterway in Texas. The first 20 people that arrive will get a free sign that I made from me. So you guys can get that. Every single person will be getting a thank you card that has an autograph signed by me. It's going to be so, so fun. You can meet me and the rest of my family, including Lily, even though she's part of my family. But, like, that's just cool. You're going to meet Lily and me. Okay, now that I've told you guys about the meet and greet, comment down below if you're coming. And now I'll let you get back to the video. So a lot of brands recently in this past year have sent me, past year meaning 2017, not 2018, have sent me a lot of makeup. So I do have a lot of high-end brands like Tarte, BH Cosmetics, ColourPop, and things like that. But this video isn't made for me to be like, oh my gosh, look at me, because I honestly don't wear a bunch of makeup. I usually just wear some concealer, mascara, a little bit of eyeshadow, and lipstick, highlight. That actually is kind of a lot. And I'm not wearing any makeup just because I like just woke up and I was like, you know what? I don't want to wear any makeup right now. But I'm really excited for this video. It's going to be super fun. So I have all of my makeup behind me. So for primers, I have this one from e.l.f. that I got at Target. Because they have a lot of e.l.f. products anyway. And then I have this Tarte one. It is, it's Tarte Poreless. And it's mattifying primer. And this one is hydrating primer. So I like both of these a lot. This one, I've noticed that doesn't spread as far on your face. Whereas this one does. And there's a lot more of it for a lot cheaper price. But I love both of them. So next is foundation. So I have this one from BH Cosmetics. I'm almost out. This one I really love, but I also have this one from Target. So it's just a Neutrogena one, and it was pretty cheap. I think this was like $10 or something, whereas this one I got for free, but I'm pretty sure it would be pretty expensive. This one's more my shade. This one is the tiniest bit oranger. And then for concealers, I have to wear concealer because I have such dark circles, and under my chin, sometimes I'll get bad spots. So the first one I ever got was an e.l.f. one, but I ran out, so I got another e.l.f. one just because it was cheap, and I was like, maybe it works. It doesn't work very well at least so then I got this one that is my perfect shade like when I put it on at first I wanted to just do a natural concealer look but then I put it on and I had to put on more makeup because it it's so full coverage that it makes me look like a ghost it's crazy but then I use this beauty blender to blend out all that so this one's from BH cosmetics it's so squishy so next is bronzer I love bronzer but I only have three things of bronzer just because I do wear it all the time but I have one that's like perfect when that runs out I'm sure that I'll buy a new one I keep having to adjust the setting because the lighting is kind of weird but this first one is from Tarte it is my ultimate favorite so I didn't know how to use bronzer when I first got it so I would like do it like here. Oh, it was it was sad, but I love this bronzer. It's got a really nice mirror that is really good quality. And then I got this one for Christmas. Turin Bria gave it to me. So it's a Hula Benefit bronzer. They sell these at Sephora. I also got a matching brush, but I'll show you that later. So it's really cute. It's like small and really vintage looking. Then there's this little brush, which I'm, I don't use a whole lot, but it is nice just to get it right on there without putting too much. Um, but that's just the bronzer. It's a little lighter than this Tarte one, but I still really like it. And then I have this from Tarte. So it is amazing palette. It's like a contour palette. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot yet because I also have other contour palettes. Um, but they also have eyeshadows, so I'll show them later. So they just have... They say that it's eyeshadows up there and contour, but honestly, you could use those for all of that too. And to blend all of this, I use this number three brush from It's My Zara or something from BH Cosmetics. This is a brush. It's the best, fluffiest brush. <gasps> but then usually that doesn't get it amazing because I always put a lot of bronzer on, so I need like another blending brush. So I use this one. This one is just from BH Cosmetics. There's a whole set of them and like all of those. Okay, so next is highlight. I love highlight <laughs> that was intense but I recently bought this new one from Tarte so I have one of these in a different shade so this one is exposed and this one's my favorite I haven't actually tried this one yet because I literally just got it um, but this one is Stunner. So I like both of them, and Tarte has the best highlighters. They show up so well. Honestly, Tarte is probably my favorite makeup brand. And then from ColourPop, I have this liquid one, which I haven't used a whole lot yet because, like, I had... I wanted to get all out of this one before I started using this one. So then I have another one from ColourPop. This one is, like, a purpley... Um, it's just really nice. I can't really explain it. It's like a purpley white. And then from my amazing, amazing YouTube friend, Fiona Frills, she made a line called Frillians, which y'all need to check out. She has the best makeup 
in the world. So what it is, is makeup that is hydrating and isn't bad for your skin and it's just like nice. Like when I first opened it, I thought they were face products because this is called Illuminating Cream self glow highlighter so I didn't I thought it was just a cream but I actually used it once and it gives a really nice highlight little glow and it feels so smooth when it's on like it feels like you just put primer on your face like it's nice and moisturizing but not too oily so it comes in this little tube I also have um, a lip gloss and a blush from her and then for blush I have this Tarte one which is like the exact same as the highlighter except a blush and then I have the Frilliance cream blush next is eyeshadow palettes I think I have a little too many so I'll start off with my favorite which is BH Cosmetics and it's my Zara or something I can't even read it there's like a backwards E area area it comes with the set as these brushes eyeshadow and contour palette I love their eyeshadows just look at that they're so pigmented, like, and then there's like a huge mirror so you can really see yourself. And then my second favorite is the Toasted Tarte Palette. This palette has a lot and a lot of fallout, which is the only thing, but the colors are gorgeous. My next favorite is the Naked Smoky Eye. Oh my gosh, this is the first palette I ever had. Look at those colors. I love, love, love the highlight because I didn't have a highlight for a long time until I got that Tarte one, and I used that as a highlight for literally right there, and it worked perfect. It's like a pinky. I actually got this sent to me by Chelsea Crockett who's amazing so thank you Chelsea and then this one I do okay I, this isn't my favorite palette but I like it still the packaging is super cute so this is ColourPop Golden State of Mind because all of them are shimmery so you have to have like matte colors and they're not very pigmented and the colors are okay like I would never use that blue but I mean it still is a nice palette like there is some nice nudes and purples and then there's this palette this palette is my ultimate favorite so let me get it open so it's BH Studio Pro this is the second palette I ever got in my whole entire life and just take a look at this palette I love this palette I use this for shows because I do theater which means I have to do cake load of makeup like it has to be like sticking out makeup so I would use these and I would put some more colorful colors on top like some pinks um, and my eyeshadow looked really good for that and that green is super cool okay so next is mascara because mascara can fix your whole entire makeup look literally so I do want to start getting a lot more mascaras because I only have two and mascara I think is like a big Thing. Like, I'll put mascara on even if I'm not wearing any makeup. It's just so beautiful. So I have this color girl. Come on. I always say that color girl. I have this cover girl waterproof mascara. And then I do this um, Crockett Volume Express from Maybelline. So I've been collecting liquid lipsticks and lipsticks ever since I was, like, alive. Like, I never really stopped. So I have a lot. I'm very much into the nudes, as you can see. I love nudes. So I just picked out some of my favorites because there's way too many to, like, count. I have a whole makeup organizer over there just dedicated to lipsticks. So I don't really like lipsticks as much as liquid lipsticks because I feel like it's a lot harder to get up in the corners and get um, the perfect like shape whereas liquid lipsticks the applicator is so like precise. So I have these two from Tarte. I'm pretty sure there's a third one but I think I gave it to my sister. So there's this dark red and then there's this one. I'm pretty sure these come in a set. This is like a nice orange and they just go on so smooth and they're so so pigmented. And then I have this one that I stole from my sister um, but she let me like over time she was like oh yeah I know you have it. So this one dries so fast. So what is this? This is from NYX Professional Makeup. I did buy this! I didn't... Sh my sister stole this from me! Okay, well it's super good. It dries super fast, which can be a little annoying. I have to put on like a lot of chapstick before I put it on. And then from Frilliance, I have this nude one, which is like my perfect shade. It's like an orangey kind of look. This is always like my second go-to because my first is um this one. So this is also from NYX which is like a store. It's kind of like Sephora. This is a soft matte lip cream. Y'all already know about this. I use it all the time. It's every single selfie where you like my lip color, it's most likely this one. I have two of them. And then from ColourPop, I love this. So it is a amber chapstick kind of thing. So it's kind of like a lip tint. So it's like chapstick that has like a subtle tint so I didn't put it on because I don't have like a mirror so I didn't put it on amazing but it's super hydrating and it's kind of sheer so it's just kind of like it gives you a little color okay and then my all-time favorite lipstick which is this is my only lipstick but I love this one these two are my favorite so this one is a plum color from Tarte it's my favorite I use it all the time you can tell because it's like doesn't even have the tip anymore I can't 
it doesn't really say what color, but the packaging is like a blue marble, which is not what I was expecting when I opened it. And it's just so beautiful. I love, love, love all of these lipsticks. These are all like my favorite. Okay, and then the last thing that I always put on my face is setting spray. So setting spray keeps your makeup on, especially if you're going somewhere where you might sweat a little, like, or you're just going somewhere for like all day. You want your makeup to stay on. I have this one from ColourPop and the color Amber. I guess it doesn't matter what color it is, but it's Amber. ColourPop loves the color Amber. So this one I've noticed, like I, ha I use it a lot, um, or not a lot. I always say a lot, but I haven't used it for a lot because I haven't been wearing makeup for a lot of time. This, <laughs> but I mean, this one doesn't stay on amazing. Like it never, I never noticed a difference when I put it on, but it's really refreshing. And then I got this one from Urban Decay that is like a lifesaver. So. It's Urban Decay Child? No, Chill. <laughs> Child. <laughs> Those are my setting sprays, but then from Frilliance I have this refreshing makeup mist that I really, really like. So, or facial mist, sorry. So it's scented fish, uh, citrus rain. Basically, whenever you just take off your makeup or you're feeling dry, you just apply this. It's kind of like putting a bunch of water on your face, but it's really hydrating, really good for you. So I do have other products, like I have eyebrow gels and powders and makeup wipes, but you know, stuff like that. But I'm not going to show those because I don't really use that type of stuff. I just showed you what I use most of the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye!